Good morning, everybody. This is the first day of Central Oregon for me. This is my first load. Uh, not too worried. Uh, just trying to learn their system and how everything works. Uh, you get a probation period, like 30 to 60 days, where you have to send photos of the load. So uh, Central Oregon has a little bit of a criteria how they want it strapped every four feet. So we're gonna over strap this thing, send the photos. It's a no tarp load. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I kind of like the system that Central Oregon has with the tablet. It's actually really, really, really good. Um, but I'm excited it's not a tarp load because Central Oregon has only nine foot drop tarps. So I'm gonna try to get used to this of having only nine foot drop tarps. I'm not gonna enjoy it, but maybe down the road, I could buy some Central Oregon tarps uh, custom because uh, they get them at Joplin, just like Prime did. So um, we're going to Ota Mesa, California. So the plan is to get home by Saturday. Today's Friday and it delivers Monday and then I'm gonna go back home and uh, spend 4th July uh, with the family. So I went for this guy to load us. I just gave him everything. I can't put a GoPro. Uh, I totally spaced out and didn't put all the pieces I needed for the GoPro. But that's something is hard for me right now. I don't have all my stuff. So uh, we're gonna do the bare minimum. So uh, I'm gonna wait for this guy, but and get us loaded and hopefully get out of here pretty soon. We'll see you guys on the next video. Uh, Central Oregon wants two in the front, like I always do anyways. So we got four on top of this bundle. Count this, could be five. Uh, two on that one and then three on there so three straps are coming down this bundle two's coming on there the bottom one and you guys see the other side they're just different sizes so got three back here one for the other side you can see where the green band is two on this one and then we got three on there plus these two so plenty of straps we're just waiting on them uh, this is the only thing that's going to be a little difficult for the next month or so. It's sending in uh, pictures of the load to get approval. Uh, even though I know what I'm doing, they got to do their job. So I'm about to call my coach and see if he got my message. It's been about 15 minutes. Um, I sent it in before I even uh, tightened the load. So um, it's been a little while, but I think he's busy because of all the, the new students that came in. They weren't uh, flatbedders. So I, I'm think he's busy but i need to get out of here so uh we're gonna head to ota mesa and we'll guys see you guys on the next video good morning everybody we're here in corning california we're getting fuel right now here at the loves uh the load's actually doing pretty well you see right here in the back uh, my job coach whatever you want to call them our coaches uh approved of it so he was pretty quick about it um I stayed at night at the rest area. I should have stayed here at the Loves or the TA, but I was just really tired last night. I was pulling the rest area. It was only three miles down the road. So um, we're still on track to make it home. We got like 630 miles to go and uh, should be able to get to San Diego by today if there's nothing major accidents or anything. It's a Saturday, so uh, we'll see. But um, but the plan is, is this uh, trip to do on Monday. We are going to drop it off on Monday and then spend the rest of the 4th of July at home. Unless they have a load I can pick up and then drive Wednesday, that's the thing I'm gonna do. So we'll see you guys on the next video. What's up everyone? We're here in Ota Mesa, California, right on the border. Last exit of, until you hit Mexico. Uh, I had a good 4th of July with the family. Uh, I came here on Monday and they were closed like I thought. So we wasted a little time on Monday, but I kind of scoped this place out and this is one of the tight backings, but we're gonna try to figure it out. Um, I haven't really played with the backing on this truck. Uh, we have a closed axle all the way in the back. So the backing is gonna be different and I haven't really backed in this truck. So, um, it's gonna be very tight. I'll show you guys the video of how to do it. I know a lot of you guys would be like, oh, that's nothing, that's easy. If this truck wasn't in the way, yes. 
so uh, we're gonna take our time I know I'm gonna block a lot of traffic but uh, there's nothing I really can't back but I'm not comfortable with the can work so I've been in a freight line the whole time but these things kind of trip me out this guy's over here in a dry van I don't know if you guys can see it uh, probably not um, he's in a dry van unloading lumber but us flatbedders we have to strap this and everything and this guy can just have lumber with no securement in a dry van so um, we're gonna wait for this guy we should be done almost and we're gonna go in this little tight backing and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video it's, so you guys can see we have to back into there and then this truck is in the way so what I'm gonna try to do is sneak so back on my backup I'm gonna snake that way until I get in front of that truck and then I'm gonna swing it all the way to that corner. I should have the trailer angled like this, like that, um, and then just kind of start little backing and get really close to that truck over here on the right. It's gonna be a tight. I don't have any cameras to show you guys. I don't, my GoPro doesn't have the little screw. I packed it all up, so. You're just gonna have to trust me. <laughs> so, uh, this guy's almost done and we're about to back in there.
What's up everyone? We're in Southgate, California. Uh, crazy entrance in here. As you guys see over here, this is where you enter and you have to make like a big ass U-turn to get in here. So I actually turned myself around uh, onto the street. Uh, looks pretty simple. Uh, I've learned so far with Central Oregon, uh, some of these places are pretty tight compared to what uh, my other company was. So uh, they only can fit one truck in here at a time. So we're waiting for this guy to get out of here and then uh, we're gonna pull forward. Uh, this load's headed to Farmer's Branch, Texas. I think we can get there by Friday is the goal. Uh, it is a tarp load, but it doesn't look like you can tarp it here, but we're gonna find out. Uh, if it's the same product as this guy has, we'll do the same thing and uh, hopefully get out of here before traffic. Uh, but it looks like he's almost done. And that's the goal to get out of here out of California before traffic. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Good morning, everybody. We're here in Marshall, California. You can see the tarp job. It's not the greatest. Uh, these guys kicked us out on the road, on a busy road. So I was budging this on a busy road. So when the red light turned, I jumped over here on the side, bungeeing them down. Once the light turned green, I start fixing the flap and the other side. So it's not the best tarp job I've done, but it is tarp uh, and it is what it is. I'm not gonna fix it like balloons and gets all crazy but uh we're gonna try to run hard today shut down by like five or six it's about uh 7 30 right now uh we only got a thousand four hundred miles or thousand three seventy five to run so we're not we're gonna try to divide them all in three days but i'm gonna try to knock out at least 500 ish today 500 tomorrow and then jog the 378 on Saturday is gonna be the plan. So uh, we're gonna get fuel in Lake Havasu and uh, try to get this truck uh, washed since they don't wash them when you pick them up uh, at Central Oregon. Uh, I organized the truck, I got all my stuff from the car. So I drove through Fontana, grabbed the rest of my stuff. Uh, as you guys know, I have stuff in my storage unit which that was the first thing i grabbed i have stuff in my car in fontana storage units in irvine and then i have some more stuff in salt lake at, in scott's car uh that was left on my last load so um hopefully get a load there so we're gonna start heading to texas and we'll get some fuel and we'll see you guys in the next video what's up everyone we're here in amarillo texas there's a storm coming as you guys see back there it's nice and clear over here um lightning thunder rain and there's one just going off over there and there's a tornado warning so we're gonna try to take a quick shower uh double check the tarps it's very windy here and um hopefully it's not too bad so uh we're about 500 miles out from uh from uh dallas so we only have about six hours to run tomorrow but we're gonna get a truck wash and hit walmart tomorrow so I'm gonna hit the shower right now. See you guys later. Good morning, everybody. Uh, we're so you're at the Loves, 7 a.m. Uh, we're about to roll out. I was gonna get a truck wash, but you guys can see here, uh, we're gonna hit a lot of rain. So no truck wash for this truck. Um, we're gonna hit a Walmart in Wichita Falls. It's about four hours from here. Uh, I scoped it out this morning. Uh, we're gonna do our little pre-trip right now and uh, get rolling. Should be shut down probably, I would say about 1400 is when we should be shut down. We're going to a roadies. Uh, I've never been there. It's about 50 parking spots. I don't think it fills up, but we're gonna try to get there a little early just in case. And we'll be about 45 minutes uh, away from Dallas so it's gonna be perfect there's no showers or anything so uh, we'll probably hit a loves or a pilot right before it uh, and take a shower but the nearest like regular truck stop like a pilot flying JTA it would have been about a hundred and twenty miles away from uh, dropping this load off so I'm trying to get as close as I possibly can so this roadies would be the closest to Dallas so we're gonna hit the road. We're gonna finish this pre-trip. See you guys on the next video. What's up everyone? We're here in Farmer's Branch, Texas. It's about 15 miles from Dallas, maybe 10. Uh, this is our load. Uh, two there in the front and one on each. 
Uh, these things are a little pain in the ass. They're pretty, actually pretty heavy and they're pretty uh, sturdy. So uh, the reason I did this, so I want to teach you guys, is the tarps will rest right on top of that, make it a nice square load where you're going to have something in there. So um, I like this. I saw a buddy named Jesse do this and I did on this load and the tarp rides nice and square. So if you guys have a chance to do that, do that right there. And we did two here in the back. Uh, they open here at 8 o'clock. We got here about 6.30, 6.45. Uh, tarp job wasn't the greatest. I could have fixed it on my 34, but I decided just to let it be. But we got the tarps off. We got these straps off. It's only 7.12. We'll be done by 7.20 and we'll roll out of here. I'm not in a big rush because uh, Central Oregon uh, is West Coast time. So those guys don't get in the office until about 8.30 here Central time, nine o'clock. So not in a big hurry. So we're gonna take our time. It's very hot out here in Texas. We'll see you guys on the next video. What's up everyone? We are here in Russellville, Arkansas. We just picked up our new load. Uh, it's headed to Napa or Nap Nappy. Uh, Idaho it's an airport delivery but uh, our morning delivery was pretty easy we got there pretty early got everything done the guy was tripping saying we don't have an appointment uh, I had a 7 a.m. appointment but they don't open till 8 so I don't know who messed up but he got all worked up about it and um, they had plenty of drivers I mean uh, forklift drivers so the one guy that unloaded me was like not a big deal but I guess that guy's pretty big on appointments and being under control, like he wants to control everything. Uh, so it wasn't a big deal. I really appreciate uh, Central Oregon with these pre-plans and these loads coming in pretty quick. I'm not really used to it. I've always, always wanted one. Um, and I've been very happy with it. I love to pre-plan, know what's my next load before I get unloaded so I can just keep running. The issue I've always been having and being frustrated was waiting for a load and wasting time in the day. So if you drop off at 8.30, you're waiting until like 10.30 for a load and your whole day screwed. So I've been very happy. I know it's just the first week, but so far I've been really happy here at Central Oregon. Uh, running a lot of miles, so. But I'm gonna hit the bed. I'm gonna try to get this load delivered Thursday instead of Friday. I'm gonna give these calls I get these guys call it tomorrow. It's gonna to run as hard as I can. 10 hours, run 10 hours. That's our plan. So that'll be on the next video. I hope you guys enjoy these videos that I've been posting. Hope you enjoy the first video of Central Oregon. I know it's not the greatest because I didn't have my GoPro accessories and everything, but uh, did what I could with just the iPhone. So I appreciate every, every single one of y'all. If you need anything, please comment. Uh, if you wanna hit me privately on my email, it's in the description. Feel free to hit me up with anything. So I appreciate every single one of y'all. Stay safe. Peace out.